So in this video, you're gonna see me cleaning up the kitchen. I want to sweep and spot mop the floor. I'm gonna pick the hot spots in right now. Tonight, it's my dining room table. I transfer some laundry over to the dryer and start a new load. And then I'm going to think about dinner. I'm gonna pull something from the freezer. I know I have a few freezer meals, so I definitely wanna pull one out, stick it in the fridge so it'll thaw and we can throw it in the slow cooker tomorrow. Quickly look over the calendar for tomorrow. I know there's a few appointments and I wanna make sure I don't miss any. I'm going to get myself ready for bed. Derek started putting the sloppy joes in a container, so I'll get those in the fridge so I just have this to clean up it was a really weird menu tonight the kids wanted sloppy joes and potato salad Jonah's like Can we have sloppy joes and potato salad I'm like that is a really weird combo but yes because we are leaving soon on our trip to North Carolina and I want to use up as much as all the fresh ingredients that I have there was um, green peppers in the refrigerator I wanted to use up. There was a bag with probably about five or six potatoes left in it. So I was like, absolutely, let's do it. So we're going through everything um, in the refrigerator that's fresh first um, this whole week. It was a very chill Sunday, so I was like, sure. Sloppy Joe's and potato salad, whatever you want. The night routine or your before bed routine, whatever it is that you call it, really is the most important routine of the day. Now you could start this routine during dinner, right after dinner, right before bed, but no matter when you do it, it's important to get it done. When I started using the Fly Lady routine, and I'll leave her website down below, she encourages too to start doing it in the afternoon if it's going to take you longer, depending on your schedule. I picked up this routine from her, this is how I started creating my morning routine and night routine. And this process really helped me out so much when I had my third child and I was going through postpartum depression. It really helped pull me out of it. One of the things that you could do to start your night routine is clean the house before you go to bed. Like just 20 minutes, like a quick pickup. I always start here in my kitchen and I try to get everything in the dishwasher, wash any pots and pans if I can and start the dishwasher. There are days where this is so hard to get everything done, loaded, washed. This, this one's a tough one. Even for my kids who have this zone for their daily chores, it's just, I think, an area that no one likes, washing dishes. But it feels so good once you get it done, shine your sink, make it all clean. So when you wake up in the morning, you're facing this beautiful clean kitchen and it just, oh, it's so, refreshing and so calming to start your day that way. I'll either sweep or vacuum my floor. I really like the vacuum because honestly it's easier and it, I can make it really quick.
and then I like to spot mop it. Now I don't do this every night, not at all. I usually do my spot mopping during the day when I see it. I get asked a lot what this mop is. It's just a Bona mop. I got it at Walmart. You can buy pads that go with it and then disposable wet pads and that's what these are. It just makes it quick. This is a very light floor so you see spots very easily. Okay, the kitchen is done. Did a quick vacuum, a quick spot mop. Whew. It feels so good in here. Okay, dishes are done, we're ready for tomorrow. Now I'm gonna pull out a freezer meal from the freezer that's in the pantry, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator to let it thaw in there. It'll still be frozen for the morning, but um, it'll be workable to where I can get it out of the bag, throw it in the slow cooker, and let it cook all day long. We're gonna have tomorrow Asian shredded beef. It'll cook low in the slow cook for eight hours and I can serve this with rice. I do share a video on this. I'll link it below. So, all right, this is going to get in the refrigerator and we will have this for dinner tomorrow. Fantastic. When I get back from North Carolina, I'm going to be making a ton of freezer meals because that might be my second to last one. So, <laughs> they're so handy. Freezer meals come in so handy. Take one out the night before. Throw it in your slow cooker if it's a slow cooker freezer meal in the morning. And um, all you have to worry about is the side dish. It's awesome. Now that breakfast is handled, dinner is handled, and the kitchen is cleaned up, I'm going to start a load of laundry. Yeah, look at that. That is unusual. The boys rearranged their room and they deep cleaned it today. My oldest did it without us telling him to, so <laughs> I'm fine with this laundry pile because they tackled their room today, it was awesome. I'm so proud of them, so. All right, I'm gonna obviously start with a load of blankets, cause that is what's on top, so that's what I'm gonna do first. Earlier today, I washed Derek's clothes. I hung up all his shirts, and they're pretty much dry. Um, some spots are still wet, so I'll keep them here for now, and then in the morning, I'll move them over to the closet. Okay, I do have a load of laundry that I started earlier in here, so I'll get this in the dryer. laundry is going breakfast and dinner are ready to go for tomorrow so now I'm going to clear off some hot spots on my dining room table the rest of the house looks great the kids did an awesome job tonight and then I'll go in the bathroom and get ready for bed I took the table runner off today because I need to spot clean it, so there's nothing on the table right now, which feels pretty nice, but it is pretty naked, but that's okay. So before I get ready for bed, I need to check my calendar, my planner, all of that. So I am looking to see what I am filming, what I have planned. I know tomorrow I'm filming two videos, so now I need to look and see what's going on for this week. Um, this week is the last week of school. Okay, I have an appointment tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I look at 
the monthly calendar. This is Shaylee's academic book that I keep all her lessons in, but I keep track of um, her schedule in the main, like our home schedule in the monthly spread. Derek and I have an appointment tomorrow, and then I have an appointment tomorrow. And I'm gonna put here call ortho because poor Boston needs to go in. He missed his ortho appointment, so I need to reschedule it and hopefully we can get in this week. Dr. Berg is awesome. and He'll be able to get him in before we leave. I have a hair appointment this week as well. I think it's on Wednesday. But for tomorrow, I know that I have two appointments and a, a major phone call to the ortho that I need to get done. So, and I will see that first thing in the morning um, after breakfast when we start homeschool. So, I will be ready to go for the day. All right, time to freshen up for bed. Okay, I just put in my retainers. I'm gonna head to bed. My face feels so smooth, it smells so good. That citrus is awesome. Okay, I'm heading to bed. I am done for the night. See ya.